The music you hear is coming from this loudspeaker. It was built in electronics classes by kids like you and like me. What do you think we can learn from just a simple loudspeaker? So far, I have only talked about electric currents which flow in one direction only. That is called DC, which stands for direct current. But in this episode, we talk about AC, alternating current. I can explain it much better if I show you one of my best favourite toys. This is called a cathode ray oscilloscope. Usually we call it a crow. Let me explain what this instrument is about. It is like a mini TV or a computer screen, but this is different. It is an instrument used, for instance, in hospitals to measure your heartbeat and much more. But, but it can show us much simpler things that we can understand. We can draw funny pictures, like an eight on its side, or an eight the right side up, like a circle. It can also show us the polarities of a battery. If I connect positive, the line will go up. If I connect the negative, the line goes down. This is what my voice looks like. Ooh, e, Oh yes, the crow can also show you the waveform of a doorbell. Do you remember from episode 3, the electromagnet? This switch here turns these electromagnets on and off really fast. At the moment it's on, it starts on. But when it's down, it's off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. This is what the waveform on the doorbell looks like. On, off, on, off, on. We can also show it this way. On, off, on, off. How does that differ from AC? This is what a real AC looks like. It goes from plus to minus, plus to minus 50 times a second. This is what we call frequency. Here is another one of my favourite toys. You know, it is an old loudspeaker. There goes a ping pong ball. <laughs> Let's see how the loudspeaker works when I put in DC. When I switch on the current, the cone moves up. When I switch the cone off, it goes back to normal. When I reverse polarity and switch on the current, the cone moves down. That's what DC does to a loudspeaker. But watch what happens to the cone when we put in AC.
we are feeding in a frequency of 50 Now I have turned it up to 500 hats. You can hear it. Can you now imagine what AC is? DC is just a steady flow of power which flows one way only. AC is the electricity that goes into our houses which changes polarity 50 times per second. It was a funny word you used earlier, hats. The real name is hats, meaning oscillations per second. How many frequencies are there? Thousands, millions, zillions of different frequencies. What we're talking about here is audio frequencies here, which we can hear and listen to. What frequencies can we hear? All the range from a 16 to the highest whistle, which is 16,000. When you get older, you'll be able to hear maybe 12,000. Can we see frequencies? Yes, we can. Look at this experiment. Here we have a set of organ pipes. This one here is tuned to the note A, 440. Watch what happens to the candle when we feed in sound. This time we have a shorter pipe. It is 550 hats. Let's see what happens to the candle now. I hope the flame doesn't go out this time. Now we have a longer pipe. It is a much lower note. 350 hats. Is AC dangerous? Depends on the voltage. If you get zapped by 240 volts, which is a light bulb socket or a normal socket, You'll be history or you'll be lucky to be alive. We'll talk about safety in our next episode. Bye.